consider the region y equals x, y equals 0, and x equals 4. We're going to take this region and rotate it around the line x equals 5. And the question is asking to set up the integral to find the volume of the resulting solid we get after we rotate this region around x equals 5. So that's a lot to say. Let's go ahead and do it. So there's the x-axis, there's the y-axis, and we'll start by drawing our region. So y equals x looks like this, so it's just going to be this piece, because y equals 0 is this piece, and x equals 4 is right here. And we're spinning this around x equals 5, so to give us some breathing room, I'm going to put the 5 way over here. So this is where we're spinning our rectangle. So I'm going to use like a little arrow to indicate that's where we're spinning it. Okay, we're using the, let's use the disk method in this problem. Uh, this is also called the washer method. I just like to call them disks and shells, just keep it simple. Uh, in this case, it is the washer method though. So the disk method, when you're using the disk method, you have to first draw your rectangle and your rectangles are always, no matter what, when you use the disk method, they're, they're always perpendicular to the axis, the axis of revolution, this one here, the axis. So when we draw our rectangle, we have to make sure it's perpendicular to the axis, like that. If you're using the shell method, then it's parallel. So if you were using the shell method, your rectangle would have looked like this. That would have been with the shell method. But it's disk, so you make sure it's perpendicular to the axis. So in this case, we have a horizontal rectangle. If you have a horizontal rectangle, you're always going to have functions of y. And if you have a vertical rectangle, you're always going to have functions of x. This is true for both the disk and the shell. It's not exclusive just to the disk method. Okay, so now we need to draw everything in our picture to finish. So big R of y is the full distance. It's the outer radius. It's the distance from the far end of the rectangle to the axis. So that's big R of y. Always. It's always the full distance from the far end to the axis, no matter what. And little r of y, that's the inner radius. That's the distance from the closer end to the axis, no matter what. So just remember, big R of y is the full distance. It's the full distance. Little r of y is the closer distance. Big R is the outer radius, and little r is the inner radius. Okay, we have functions of y here. So we want to think of this line here, not as y equals x, but as x equals y. And so to find big R of y, we're going to think of this distance here. This distance here is 5, because this is the line x equals 5. And this distance here is x equals y. So to find r of y, we're going to take the full distance, the long distance, the big distance. This distance here, 5 minus y. 5 minus y gives us what we want. Think right minus left. Right minus left. Let me use a different color. So we're taking this full distance here of 5, and we're subtracting this little distance here, and that'll give us the resulting distance r of y. So it, think of it as x equals 5 minus x equals y. x equals 5 minus x equals y. Uh, or 5 minus y, and that's r of y. Now, little r of y, this is 4, so this distance is just 1. But if you wanted to follow the same line of reasoning, this is the line x equals 5, this is the line x equals 4. So little r of y is 5 minus 4, which is 1. So when you have horizontal rectangles, always think of right minus left, right minus left. If you get that down and you know that big R of y is the full distance and little r of y is the closer distance, you will be invincible in terms of these problems. So now we can set up the volume. So v is equal to pi. And we're integrating with respect to y. So we're going from 0 all the way to, well, this point here is 4, 4. So this is 4. So we're going from 0 to 4. And the formula says that we have to take big R of y and square it. 
and subtract little r of y and squared. This is the easy part. No one ever <laughs> messes this up. So big R of y, if you do, I'm sorry. Big R of y is 5 minus y, and we're squaring that. And then little r of y is 1, and we're squaring that. And this is in parentheses, and this is dy. And I'm going to leave it just like that. So actually working this out is pretty easy. I mean, you can put it in your calculator or grind it out and, and do it by hand. The hard part is setting it up. So just keep in mind, with shell, your rectangles are always parallel to the axis. So it would have looked like this if we would have drawn it. With disk, your rectangles are always perpendicular. I hope this helps.